Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing something very exciting. It is an order from Galen Leather. So this came all the way from Turkey. I love businesses that include little extras and freebies in their packages. And Galen is one of the ones that does a really great job. They included this postcard and on the back there is a little bit of a quote. There is no bigger enemy for you than yourself. Thank you, Rumi. We also have this green zipper pouch. I use this to hold electronics and wires when I go traveling. They also included a packet of instant Turkish coffee, which was actually pretty good. I felt like it was a little bitter and darker than my normal coffee taste, but still yummy. There is this lemon cleansing towelette, which I have not used yet. And of course, some Earl Grey tea. They also gave me this leather tag with the keychain, and it has Galen Leather Co. on there. If you don't know the story behind Galen Leather, it is a company that was started in Turkey and unfortunately the owner passed away from a chronic illness but her legacy is being carried on by her family so it's a very touching story I encourage you to look it up one of the things that Galen does really well is packaging they included my item in this dust bag which I have been using to store some planners and I think that's just really, really good marketing and also adds a nice touch. Nice little drawstring bag here. Now I got the 40 pen leather case. It is such a smooth and soft, supple leather. And I don't know about you guys, but I just love the look of a debossed logo in leather. It is a very chunky case. <laughs> this is definitely one to stand out. The stitching and the edges to me is very well done. I'm not a leather expert or anything like that, but it seems very well made. This is in the Crazy Horse Brown, which according to Galen's website is a combination of tan, mocha, and hickory. Now there is a flap, open it so that it allows the pen case to open flat. If you don't open the Velcro all the way, you won't be able to open the case the full way. The inside is divided in four sections. It has these 10 elastics going along each part. And it is a pretty sturdy elastic, stretchy, but not overly stretchy. And then we have these protective flaps that are made out of a, just like a soft cloth. I do believe there's some kind of cardboard or board that is built in between the leather layers because that has to give it its sturdy shape. It always feels very lovely and classic. It feels very, very well made and almost like a luxury item. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a Galen leather item. I do hate that the flap is Velcro though because I'm afraid that it's going to wear out over the years. This is the pen case that I was using before. It's this canvas case that I got from Amazon. You can see my poor pens do not have very much protection in this case. I have my more valuable ones out here in the front. There's my Pilot E95S, one of my favorite gold nib pens. It was also my first gold nib pen. My 
Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini in the Zine Pink. Zine Pink? Zine Pink. And then the Sailor Dragon Palace Pro Gear Slim. Along with the Platinum Sentry 3776 in Laurel Green. And finally, the Narwhal Original Plus. You can see how dainty I'm being with these pens. <laughs> and then there's my Twisby Eco and my Mahjongs, which is hidden amongst the Tombow markers in this compartment. This case wasn't really feasible, as you can see, so I decided to get a more official case for my pens. It is kind of squishy, but still pretty sturdy because of the board or cardstock or whatever they have built in. I did have trouble, I got caught with the zipper on the corners, but now that I know how to zip it, I don't really have that issue. It is a YKK zipper. I don't know if you guys know anything about zippers. I don't, but I see that one a lot. <laughs> The Twisby Eco is probably the longest pen that I have in my collection, so I'm putting that one in first to see how it fits in this case. I don't want it to touch the zippers. So far, so good. I think the Platinum Curados actually might be longer than the Twisby. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit of a struggle if you want to load it top down, like in this part of my video, because it does run into the zipper when you're trying to insert your pen. And then, I don't know, I thought like it being on the end, it was tighter. So I switched it with the mini Mahjong pen. So that's kind of what they look like. I'm smacking the keys because I want to see if the pens come out. Shaking the case to see if the pens fall out. We want to test it to its fullest extent, don't we? Now it has a little blanket. We tuck the pens in. This was a pretty expensive case, but Galen leather products are known to be very well made and high quality, I would say. Now, I did notice my Twisby Eco, I would have to shift it to a certain point if I didn't want it to hit the zipper. And I definitely didn't have 40 pens at this time that I had bought this case, so I had the opportunity to leave a space between each pen so like one loop between each pen because the thing is they actually do still kind of hit each other they don't really like scrape each other but they can hit each other if you're moving them back and forth because they're not like bound by the top and bottom of the pen it's just bound by the one loop in the center of the pen so it, the pen is still able to move left and right a little bit I don't know if people care about that. Some people really don't like their pens to be touching. I decided to categorize my pens. So for me, the more economical pens are going to be in the center flap and the higher end pens I'm going to hide behind the end flaps. They do use a full grain leather, if you are into types of leather. I 
And I'm happy that it can hold a pretty nice range of pen diameters. The reason I keep readjusting which way the pens are pointing is because I wasn't sure if I wanted all the caps to be facing a certain direction depending on how I was going to store this case. Like if I stand it up in a certain way, will all of the pens be facing cap down or cap up or will they be horizontal? I wasn't sure so I was trying to make sure that all the pens were facing one way. Yeah, so loading top down, like with the zipper being on that end, didn't work out. So I decided to load in from the other end because I didn't like running into the zipper and having to move the side of the case out of the way every time. So here I am flipping all of the pens. And of course, I wanted everything to match, so I flipped all of the pens again. I do want to let you guys know that this order was from October 2022, so I've had this pen case for over a year now, and it actually still looks the same, so I'm not putting any footage in from that, but the only difference is I marked it up with ink by accident, and it's a little drier than it used to be. I don't know if that means I need to use a leather balm on it, or if there's just too much dust in my room that collected on it. Due to the nature of this case not being as accessible for everyday use, I use it mostly to store my uninked pens. It is a little tedious to have to unzip the whole thing and flip through everything to want to be able to use it every single day. Now, I could have gotten, like, a 10-pen case. Actually, if I had gotten a 10-pen case, I would have been over. If I had gotten a 20-pen case, I think I would have fit. But I wanted to build in room for growing the collection, which I kind of figured was going to happen. So, I'm like, who's going to buy 40 pens, right? <laughs> if you have seen my 8 pen questions video, then you might be laughing a lot with me about that. If you haven't, feel free to check out the video. I'll link it above right here. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a beautiful day.